Hello, my name is Jalen Baham, and I am stressed. So as most of you know, there is a presidential election going on that is just the most stressful thing that I thought you know, could ever be possible. And living through the pandemic, I figured, you know, nothing could possibly be more stressful than that. Then boom, this election comes around and I am just, to say I'm stressed is literally an understatement. But today, I figured we should spend some time together and we could talk about ways to help ease your anxiety during these very stressful times. And I'm gonna show you one of the things that I do that helps me, uh, you know, feel a little bit better when I'm uh, stressed AF. But this is your first time on my channel. Hello, welcome, my name is Jalen. I enjoy many things. My main things include, you know, coffee and glee and musical theater and singing. And I also really like to draw, which is what we are going to be doing today. I don't know if you know this or, you know, if a lot of my friends know this, but I really like to draw. And I'm not saying that I'm good. In fact, one of my closest friends, Austin, is a legitimate artist. He's able to do things that I would never be able to do. But when we were in lockdown, I was like losing my mind and you know, I write all the time and I was reading and I was like, I need, I need something else, you know? I wasn't able to act or perform or sing or do anything. So I figured I've got to do something else to help me let out all of this creative juice that I have inside of me. I feel like there are other things that I could have said other than that, but anyway. I was like, why don't I start drawing? Because when I was little, I used to take these art classes. I don't know, you, you remember how you would like sit in a classroom and you'd have like an easel and then you would like draw a picture for the day and your teacher would like show you how to do it. So I used to do that, but I have really, um, really gotten into like portraits and um, I'm gonna show you some of my some of my work. I went to Michael's and I picked up just some like pencils and some like a, and a sketchbook and I was like, let's go. I, I'm not a real artist, but at least I can pretend to be one. So I'm gonna show you guys my tools and my materials and some of my masterpieces. So <laughs> I like to draw, you know, like I said, portraits. So the first one that I did that I was actually proud of was uh, this one of Timothy Chalamet. So this was, <laughs> no, no, no. That's not my drawing. That's just, that's my example. So this was the picture that I, that I got my inspiration from and this was the finished product. Not too shabby, right? I mean, it's not like the best, but I, I don't know. There's something about drawing that just lets me just center myself and just take in the world and take a deep breath and just let it out. It has really been a lot these last couple days with this whole election. I know for me personally, I'm literally dying and it's just, there's so much unease in the world and I can feel it. I can feel the unease from random people that I don't even know. It's like seeping through the walls. But I, I just, like I said, I draw and that helps me. And then we're gonna draw together right now just so we can uh, let out some, some juice together. Um, but before we continue, let me show you some of my other half finished products. This one is not my best, but you know, this was my, my example of the beautiful Naya Rivera, and then this was mine. It's not good, like it's not good, but it's, it was a work in progress, and we live and we learn and we let go, and we move on. So, I did, oh, so this was my portrait, as you can tell, like I said, I told you guys I like Glee, so I was like, why don't I just draw every uh, cast member from Glee? So this was my picture of Dan Chris, and this is the one that I drew, this one, Actually, not bad. For somebody who is not a real artist, like honestly, these aren't good, but they're not bad, right? Am I just telling that to myself so that I make myself feel better? But look, right? That's not terrible, right? That's not like, that's not awful. I mean, it could have been worse, but that's not terrible. So anyway, what's new with you guys? How are, how are you handling this? Like I said, drawing is just one of my outlets, but I know you guys probably have other things you would like to do. So I'm very curious. Let me know what you guys do to help release some stress and release some tension. This one. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? If you don't know anything, you're stupid. And I hate you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so this one. I really was like, let me just draw every cast member from Glee, but this one of uh, Leah Michelle, Rachel Berry. And this one, not my best either, but you know, it gets the job done. I don't know what it is. I Maybe it's because I'm so focused, like when I'm drawing, I am just, I am in the zone and I literally can't even 
focus on anything else other than drawing, which is probably why it's so soothing for me because I have no choice but to focus on something other than, you know, the, the climate of the world that's falling apart. So the picture that we're gonna work on together today is this one. I know you I know you're like why does it look like that well my printer was running out of ink okay and this was all I had to help with my dimensions if you can't tell who this is it's Robert Pattinson aka Edward Cullen and um, I'll put an example portrait of what I was supposed to be right here just so you guys know what I what I'm trying to draw I actually started this one so we're just gonna continue it and um it's not my best work but it's getting there you know this is what I have so far <laughs> I know it's not good, and I, I feel like I've said that a million times, but I am not. Disclaimer, I'm not a real artist. I do this for fun to help ease my stress and anxiety. So please, all of you other art channels that are gonna that are out there on YouTube that are legitimate artists, please do not come for me. I know I don't know what I'm doing, but that's okay. So considering, uh, well, once again, I still don't know what I'm doing. I just bought a bunch of pencils. I have these like charcoal pencils, which are good when I want to have like a little bit more darkness onto my photos. But these are the pencils that I've really been, uh, that I've been vibing with. So let's just, uh, let's do this thing, shall we? Anyway, just some uh, words of advice. Like, yeah, we're all going through a stressful time here, but just because you're stressed does not give you the right to be a dick. And I've been seeing that a lot from a lot of people that I know, whether it be on like Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, like you guys are just using the world and everything going on right now as an opportunity to be a bad person. And that's not nice. You know, I don't know if you guys ever watched Barney, but I was a big Barney stan when I was younger. And, um, you know, I'm pretty sure Barney said once or twice that you'd like be nice or whatever. And I try to live by that. I do my best to live by that at least. So let's just, uh, let's just be cool, you know? Let's just uh, be chill. There's already so much going on. Like, why even stress and be mean to someone? I mean, what's the point? It's not worth it. Right? Am I right? So, like I said, this right here, drawing, even though I'm not good at it, is just really a nice way for me to get my mind off of things. And, wow, I really did not do a good job on his eyes, but whatever. I have a bunch of colored pencils, too, that I like to try and play with, but... I'm really, the style that I'm trying to go for in terms of like my artistic work is like realism. I mean, I don't even think I've achieved that in any means, but I'm trying and that's my goal. So whatever, I just really feel like the art channels are going to drag me for this. Please be nice. Okay. I already said I'm not a real artist, but anyway, what's your favorite Robert Pattinson movie? You know, I think I'm like biased towards Twilight because I, I was a, a Twilight stan when I was um, in high school as were most of you probably who are around my age. I know you guys were obsessed with Twilight. It was just, it was the thing to do. It was the thing to be obsessed with when we were in high school. Although, fun fact, when I was in high school, I was kind of embarrassed to be reading Twilight. So I bought like, a, I bought Twilight, of course, the hard copy. And I put another sleeve over the book so that people didn't know I was reading Twilight because I didn't want to get bullied. Although, it shouldn't matter. I should be able to like what I like and not have anyone say anything about me, but also high school can be a scary new place, so. Yeah, I remember reading it and I loved them. And me and my cousin Taylor and all my friends, we used to go to all of like the midnight premieres and it was just, it was wild. It's so crazy watching Robert Pattinson transform from like Edward Cullen to Batman. What? If you would have told me when I was in high school that Robert Pattinson would be Batman, I'd be like, you're lying, but. Here we are. 2020 has brought us many surprising things, and um, honestly, Robert Pattinson as Batman has managed to be on the top of the list of like the most surprising. So I have I f***ed up his nose really bad, and the eyebrows are bad too, and the eyes. This is really not not gonna be my best work, but whatever, it's fine. I'm having fun, and that's what matters, right? So maybe I'll use this time to give you guys some. Uh, I've I've already given you some advice, but. If I can give you some more wisdom to live by, try and find something that is creative to help you ease your mind because we all need that. And for some people it's working out, some people it's like running or lifting weights or whatever. But honestly, maybe, even if it's just coloring, coloring is so therapeutic. I don't know if, if you guys know that. Go buy some coloring books and get some coloring and, and it'll get your mind off of a lot of things. The arts are so important and it's just so nice to be able to have something else 
to just help me live my life. If I let you guys sit here with me while I was finishing this drawing, we'd be here all day and all night and we don't have time for that. So I'm not gonna put you guys through that. No! I already feel calmer. Like, I feel like I took a shot. I didn't, but I feel like I did. Anyway, this has been a lot of fun. I really hope that you got out a piece of paper and started drawing with me. That would make me feel super special. If you didn't and you just sat here and watched me make a fool of myself, thanks for watching. If you haven't already and you made it this far to the video, thank you so much. Give this video a like and subscribe and we can be friends, you know? I like making friends. This is not, uh, this is not going well, but I promise I'll update you guys when I finish this. He looks demented. If I were to tell you that this was Robert Pattinson, would you believe me? No? Oh, like I said, if you're having, if you really are having a lot of anxiety or a lot of stress about the state of our world, just remember to take a deep breath and you always have a friend in me. So if you ever need anything or someone to talk to, you can always slide in my DMs. I'm always here. So I hope you guys had some fun and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.